Accommodations are pretty much average. There are some volunteers who have bigger places or nicer amenities, and there are others who have far less than we do. Um, so let me show you around. This is our bathroom or vanaya. It's nothing fancy, but as with all Ukrainian bathrooms, it has just a bathtub, shower head, and a, a sink as well. And when we found out that the plumbing hooked into the kitchen, we decided to make one simple upgrade to our apartment, and that's this hot water boiler, which allows us the luxury of hot showers and hot water for doing dishes. This is a toilet, or the room that houses the toilet, known as a unitas. And here we have just the toilet. That's all that this room is for. And whoever constructed this uh, plumbing here didn't think very well, because when you actually sit on the toilet, uh, you get to poke yourself in the side with the water meter. This is our kitchen, or kuchnia. We eat most of our meals in here, although it's a little bit cramped. This is our table and stool. You notice that we don't actually sit in chairs, but everybody in Ukraine pretty much takes meals on stools. We have a nice new refrigerator, courtesy of the school where I work. And over here we have what's known as a winter refrigerator, an area under the window that gets some cold air from the outside wall and keeps things nice and cool. They use those especially back when they didn't have refrigerators. And then we have a small oven, um, which doesn't work super great. It's gas, so you can either use the oven or you can use the range, but if both are on at the same time, nothing cooks very fast. This room is also a bedroom, or it was meant to be our bedroom, but we use it as more of a multi-purpose kind of a room. And as you can see from the bed, when we moved in here, we had three of these metal beds, and they're kind of more like hammocks. So we only uh, have one up in case we have a guest, and otherwise we use this room as a dining room. We have a nice big table, and we can bring some more chairs in for guests. And Michael built this rack up here for us to hang clothes in the fall and winter when it's too cold to hang them outside. This room is meant to be the living room or zal, although we use it as our bedroom and workspace. And when we moved in, we basically have all the furniture that you saw here that came with our apartment. We have this bed, which is actually a couch that we fold out into a bed. It's a little small for two people and pretty hard, but it'll do better than the floor. Over here we have a uh, makeshift bedside table for Michael, which is actually a cardboard box from our boiler covered with a nice tablecloth. Um, over here we have our workspace, computer hooked through cable modem to the internet, and a TV so we can watch Russian and Ukrainian programming. And over here through this door is our balcony where we hang clothes in the spring and summer when it's warm enough, and also where we can have a wonderful view of beautiful sunsets. Any place 